Hi, everybody, and welcome to our daily devotion. This devotion is for Wednesday, October 7th, 2020. Today, I'm going to read a brief passage that was actually scheduled in the Revised Common Lectionary for yesterday, but it's so important that I wanted to carry it over and read it to you today. You know, in the New Testament, there are 27 distinct documents. And of those, 12, perhaps 13, were written by one individual. And that individual is the apostle whom we call Paul, Saul of Tarsus, who received a revelation of Christ, an experience, an epiphany, a breakthrough, when Christ met him on the road to Damascus and made himself known. Paul immediately went into a form of isolation, retreat, after this experience, and emerged from that with a sense of what God was doing in the world through the Messiah, through the Anointed One, through Christ, which was different than he had ever imagined before. It was an utter transformation in his life and in his understanding of his purpose. He received a vocation, a calling, such as he never had imagined before. And in all of his letters to many, to churches that he had founded, others to congregations that he hoped to visit but had never been, he explained in tremendous detail the implications of this vision, this revelation, this epiphany that he had experienced as he traveled to Damascus in order to persecute uh, followers of the way, believers in Christ, prior to his new understanding, his transformation, his conversion, if you will. And today I'm going to read from one of the letters that the Apostle Paul wrote to the church in Corinth. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 5. And in this passage, Paul tells us what I believe is the central message that motivates him. And here is what Paul writes in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, and I'm going to start reading at verse 16. From now on, therefore, we regard no one from a human point of view. Even though we knew Christ from a human point of view, we know him no longer in that way. So if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and has given us a ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. So then, we are ambassadors for Christ. Paul tells us that in the confrontation that Christ had with him, when Christ met Paul and changed him fundamentally, he gave him a new way of seeing everyone. And anyone who is in Christ ought to see others in this way. If anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. And we no longer see people, any people, all people, including Christ 
himself. We no longer see people, and the language that Paul used was according to the flesh. But I think the New Revised Standard Version has a good translation. We no longer see people from a human point of view. Nobody in the world is just ordinary anymore. Nobody in the world is excluded from the embrace of God's love. For God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them. And this is the message that Paul had to proclaim to everyone he met. He met a stranger. He met a group of philosophers. He met individuals in cities throughout Asia Minor, what is today Greece and Turkey. He met these people. And whether it was one by one or in large groups, he told them, I have good news for you that the Messiah has come. And in the Messiah, God has done something remarkable. God has made you a new creature, a new being. God has given you a new beginning, a new start. God has wiped the slate clean. Your trespasses, your sins, and mine are no longer counted against us. You are forgiven. You are healed. You are made whole. You are free. And by faith, you can now, right now, even before heaven at the end of the age, right now, you can begin enjoying this freedom. You can begin enjoying this new beginning. You can begin to live your life with a fresh perspective, not only on yourself, but a fresh perspective on everyone. I am an ambassador for Christ. That is, I am here representing Christ, speaking the word of Christ, the message of reconciliation. Friends, be what you are, reconciled to God. That was Paul's message. And he proclaimed it everywhere he went. He was willing to give his life to proclaim that message because it was the best news that humans had ever heard. And it had been given to him as a gift. It was the best news that he had ever heard. And I hope it's the best news that you and I ever have heard as well. I know it is for me. When this message came through to me, all those many years ago, 47, 48 years ago now, when this message came through to me, it changed everything. It was like waking up from a dream and seeing the world with fresh eyes, as if for the first time. And at that moment, it became clear to me, as I hope it has become clear to you as well, that from then on, from now on, our business is to make this good news known to others. Not everyone is called to preach. Not everyone is called to teach. But everyone is called to share the good news, both in our words and in our manner of life. Treating people not as ordinary nobodies, but treating each one as a special gift from God, a special part of a new creation one who is wholly and completely forgiven and loved beyond measure. So today, let's ask God to help us to do what Paul challenges us to do, to carry forward a word of reconciliation, a message of reconciliation, and be ambassadors for Christ. Let's pray. Our God, we pray that you will bless us in this day with a sense of the greatness of the gospel, the good news, the scope 
of your love. The depth and height and breadth and height of, uh, of width of your compassion, healing and reconciling the world to yourself. Oh God, help us to live by faith in that reality and to make it available, visible, known to others so that they too might enjoy living as part of a new creation. This we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thank you, fellow ambassadors. Thank you, fellow messengers. I pray that God will bless you with this message and bless you in sharing it with others until we gather together again for another daily devotion till tomorrow. And God bless you till then.